Here's how to hit your very first free plate bench press in three easy steps. Welcome to today's video to One Take, your daily butt kicking with myself, Connor Anderton. If you don't know who I am, I'm an online coach for the last 10 years specialising in getting regular guys insane physique transformations and getting them incredibly strong in the process. So, bench press. The thing I talk about a lot, the thing I've talked about in the last few days, I wanted to expand on it after some really good feedback and response on my 200 kilo bench press video. Now, the reason I wanted to make this one and talk about a free plate bench that being 140 kilos, if you're in the US, that would be 308 pounds or 315, I don't know. Yeah, 315 pounds. And the reason I wanted to sort of like pull this back a little bit because it comes with a little bit more normality, right? Something like a 200 kilo bench press can be, is many, many, many years down the line for a lot of people. And as much as you can follow my advice, it's still going to take a lot of work. And I think that's the... Uh, that should be put at the forefront of most people's content and videos is that understanding that these big goals do take a lot of time, you know, and that's absolutely okay. I never want to be one of them people in the fitness industry that's trying to tell somebody they can bench or lift or whatever, you know, do crazy things in very short periods of time. It's just, it's not, it's not very fair. It's not very honest. Um, and of course, that wasn't my intention in the last video. I didn't actually get that negative feedback, but it's something I thought I'd, address for this video so free plate bench 140 315 how do we achieve our first free plate bench this is definitely if you if you join the free plate club in my opinion this is the best club okay so when i first hit my first four plate bench it was awesome when i hit 200 it was awesome but nothing was actually better than the 140 the free plate bench okay i don't know what it were i feel like Going from being like a two plate bencher and a two and a half plate and really struggling for a few years to actually get past two and a half plates towards that three place, when I finally hit it, it was that moment of elation. And it, honestly, it was probably the, the, the lift or the amount of weight that took the most amount of effort. I feel like 140 to 180 was weirdly easier than 120 to 140. Now, that's just me. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that has to be the same case for you, but I'm just being really upfront about, about my experience with that. I feel like after I, I hit the 140, my confidence really jumped, my muscularity really jumped, and my uh, understanding of strength, etc. And it, I really um, moved that lift into sort of like another dimension, in my opinion. So, 140 bench press. The first thing, this guy's right, okay, let's jump straight in. I'm, I'll keep, I keep waffling on on this podcast. The first thing I want you to do is stop going so heavy all the time the biggest mistake i made before i was a free plate bencher for two years was constantly hitting a max effort lift if you hit a max effort lift you're not getting stronger not really strength isn't built at one rep max please if you take something away from this episode it's that line strength is not built at one rep max okay it just isn't within strength you want to be working around them 80 to 90% realms a bit more often. Arguably, you know, around the 85%, even as low as 70% for certain work. Of course, you want to build that muscularity. So hypertrophy is going to be really important and you're never going to build muscle at one rep max. And even above 90%, you know, the, the reps are too low and they're too fatiguing on your central nervous system. And what I see most young lads do, especially, especially <coughs> excuse me, is putting as much weight as they can lift on the bar and hitting one rep. Getting whatever they hit, they come in the week after and they do the same. The week after they do the same. I genuinely witness this. I'm not, not bullshitting. You've probably witnessed this yourself. You might be one of these people. But what you find with these people is like they never get stronger because they're not actually doing strength work. They're not actually follow, following a training program. They're not actually doing the correct amount of volume. They're not training with the correct intensities. They're not following a standardized program, whether it's linear, non-linear, um, undulating, all sorts. <laughs> Daily undulating, weekly undulating. We could go into that for another video. So tip number one, stop going so heavy all the goddamn time. Chill the fuck out. 
bring your weights down to 80 to 90 percent for the majority of your strength work your hypertrophy work should be even lighter than that remember that okay step two have two dedicated bench days okay so your first bench day i want as your main bench day that is going to be where you're going to do the majority of your strength work within that 80 to 90 percent realm okay within this you're gonna to have to figure out the amount of working sets that works for you what can you recover from what can you respond to what feels good what doesn't overdo it you know what i mean so if this is very personal however where i would start you is on five main working sets of bench press okay we could start off very simple and do like a uh, you know a starting strength five by five that would be very fair trying to add a little bit of weight onto the bar each time but what we could also do is, is use the rpe scale now using the rpe scale is something i found to be significantly better from a clientele point of view from my point of view when it comes to getting strong because what rp allows you to do if you don't know what rp is rate of perceived exertion it's just how you measure how hard a working set was and if you know you're having a bad day less sleep one day work's been busy you're stressed or whatever you can change the rpe or the rpe is different lifts don't feel the same every week so if you're doing percentage based work and you have to hit 90 percent well 90 percent might be different on the day it just might because you might feel it worse there's just there's all sorts of like different variables that affect how you feel on the day but with rpe you can have a slightly slower burn towards your program and allow yourself to rate intensities per day so let's say you've got a one one set of three at eight rpe okay you can work with that and you can do four uh, sets of five at eight rpe okay so therefore if you had a great week that eight, that could be eight rpe if you had a bad week and you did the same weight that could be a 10 rpe do you see what i'm saying i hope that makes sense and i've explained that well enough um but yeah so I, that, that's where that's where i would kind of like start you off is a, a main bench day five working sets working within the rpe scale if you're not sure what the rpe scale is literally just google it um there's plenty of images that display it online and how to calculate it how to read it how to um how to use it okay on your secondary day is going to be like an accessory bench day and you're going to start off with the point within the bench press that you're weakest now what i find a lot of guys are weak from is off the chest if you are weak off the chest i'd really recommend you do a two or three second pause bench press where of course you pause the bar um, and don't get any sort of like reflex don't bounce it nothing like that pause the bar off your chest and do your working sets really good starting point for you guys is around four working sets of six on this at seven rpe if you're using that like I said, guys, the, the, the idea of this podcast isn't to go into crazy details. It's to give you simplistic form that you can go away and utilize and maybe look up a little bit yourself or even ask me more questions with. I just want to get that information out there within this 10 minute time frame to keep things interesting and not bore you with 30, 40 minutes of this. I want you learning fast, okay? So, four working sets of six at seven RP on a pause bench rest if you're weak off the chest. If your triceps are weak, you could hit a close grip bench press. You could hit a block bench press, board bench press, or something like that, where you know you put a block or a pad or something on the chest, raise it up, and you can hit that pad and dominate with the triceps. You can even get really specific and figure out where where exactly does that bar die on the way up. Where do your triceps not not want to work and literally work that weak point? That's a really good way to do it. On top of that, you got to remember. The bench press is very much a tricep dominant movement when it comes to strength. So a lot of your accessory work needs to be tricep focused, not necessarily chest focused. So doing tricep dips, push downs, skull crushes, JM presses, um, machine dips, there's all sorts of stuff that you could be doing for your triceps that are really gonna overload. But guys, pick the accessory movement that is gonna be weakest for you. Maybe start with four sets of six at seven RPE. Try to put weight on the bar every week and stay within that RPE okay and guys number three mindset this is how you're going to hit a 140 free plate bench 315 if you're in the us mindset i said this in the 200 kilo bench press you have to believe you can hit a free plate if you're looking at people hitting free plates like they're god's gift 
you've got a problem with your mindset when it comes to it. You have to believe you can hit it tomorrow. If you do not believe you can hit it tomorrow, good luck ever hitting it. Because trust me, as somebody who's coached many, many strength athletes to these sorts of lifts, the one difference between the people who hit it and the people who don't is their belief in themselves and their ability to say, you know what, this is just around the corner. And the three plate bench is just a stepping stone until I hit a four plate, until I hit a five plate. So you have to have belief. Stop thinking two plate bench is heavy. It is for the normal person. It's a good lift. I'm not downplaying it. I'm not insulting anyone. However, if you're watching this, it's because you want these bigger numbers. So I'm going to talk to you like you want these bigger numbers. Okay. So don't act like the two plates is a big lift. Don't act like the three plates is a big lift. Act like it's the next stepping stone that you're absolutely going to achieve. Now, that's the simplest tip I can give you. However, it, it's probably the most important overall. <laughs> I put it at number three, but I probably should have put it at number one. So mindset, guys, if you're going to get very, very strong and hit big numbers that people are impressed by in the gym, that you're impressed by with yourself, that you're proud of, that you can take to a powerlifting competition, that you can just impress your girlfriend, impress your boyfriend, whatever it might be, then mindset is key. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying this strength related content, bench press content. It seems to be working very well. The uh, the channel is doing extremely well at the moment. I've seen some significant growth. I think we've just gained another 45 subscribers or something like that. Um, and these episodes are getting a hell of a lot of views. So it's absolutely wicked. So I appreciate your support. If you have any ideas of the sort of fitness strength related content you want me to talk about, anything you need help with, please put it in the comments below. And if you're not already, please like the video, it does help. And maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of it and you liked what I'm doing, okay? But appreciate you watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.